Hey, it's Mike Bloom here with the Studio for Teaching and Learning Innovation. Uh, in this really brief tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a recording in Zoom um, and save it to your local computer and then upload it to YouTube so that you can use it in a Google site. So I have somebody coming that I want to interview and they should be here in just about a second and we'll wait for them to show up. Okay, and here's our guest, Bella Ginsbergsky Bloom, and she's here to do an interview. So, Bella, can you tell me um, what was your favorite meal that you have had um, in Mexico City when we went traveling in Mexico City? We had a lot of amazing meals in Mexico City. Uh, well, one that I remember was actually from a chain restaurant, which was a very simple meal. It was a very simple, soft taco. Uh, with blue corn tortillas and the beef, uh, the grilled beef that was just out of this world. Great. Thanks so much for this interesting interview. Anyway, that's all that you need to do. And then you can say, so long, person. Um, oh, wait, but I did the wrong thing. I had an interview, but I forgot to hit the record button. That's one thing you'll have to do. So if you notice right down here, you'll see the record button, and I'll push record. And then I'm going to record it on this computer, as you notice right there, record on this computer. So I'll click record on this computer, and you might hear my dog barking in the background because he wants to be interviewed, but he's not going to be interviewed. So now that we're recording, you'll notice that up at the top it says recording. Make sure you see this, otherwise your whole, record, your whole video will be ruined and your interview won't work. So now that she's had time to think about it, Bella. When we went to Mexico City, what was one of the more memorable and disgusting meals that you had or that you watched me eat in Mexico City? Memorable meals. We went to uh, some amazing restaurants. Um, on our last night, we went to a Mexican that specialized in Oaxacan cuisine. And uh, the food was astonishing. It was just so rich and flavorful. And... Since you brought up disgusting, you clearly wanted me to recall what you had as an appetizer in that restaurant. And that was a pizza with crickets. How many crickets would you say were on that pizza? Was it just like a smattering of crickets? It was a mound of tiny little crickets, fried crickets. And um, yeah, it was uh, an interesting sight. Did you have any of that cricket pizza? I think you did. I did. Uh, but I, I only put a few crickets on there for you. You actually did not. You actually took them off. But if there were any pieces ah. <laughs> that were left, <laughs> that's probably what I oh, We did have cricket sauce in another restaurant. Yes, we did. And it was also amazing. It was amazing. You could taste the chirp. <laughs> anyway, so now I've done the recording correctly. We'll say so long to Bella. Thank you for this wonderful interview. And now she can uh, leave. And I'll show you the rest of the interview. I mean, the rest of the process. So now that my interview is over and my recording is over, I can stop my recording by pressing the stop recording button, which is right down there. So I'll stop it. And my interview is over, but it hasn't turned it into a recording yet until I close um, my Zoom session. So I'll close my Zoom session by hitting end, which is right there. And I'll say end meeting for all. And now you'll notice that I get this converting meeting recording message. And now I have a recording that needs to be converted before viewing. It's going to convert it. And now in, on the Mac, it'll open up for me in this folder. You may have to search for it. It's going to be um, in probably a Zoom folder. It might be in Documents, Zoom, and then the date of this particular recording. And now you'll notice that I have this Zoom 0 and Zoom 1. I must have recorded something uh, earlier. Here's my Zoom 1, and let me hit play and see what that looks like. I'll click record on this computer, and you might hear my dog barking in the background because he wants to be interviewed, but he's not going to be interviewed. So now that we're recording, you'll notice that up at the top it says recording. Make sure you see this, otherwise your whole, record, your, your whole video will be ruined and your interview... Okay, so now you make sure that that's all good. And then all you need to do is take this recording and upload it to YouTube. Um, and that's very easy to do. I'll just go to a YouTube window. And I'm logged in with my William & Mary credentials, which is probably a wise thing to do. If you don't know how you're logged in, uh, if you go to the top right here, um, you'll click on the little uh, icon 
at the top right, and you'll see logged in as my mxbloom at email.wm.edu. If you're not logged in that way, you'll switch your account and you'll make sure that you sign in with your correct address. Um, so now that you're uh, logged into YouTube, you'll click on Create, which is this video camera type button here. And now you'll say Upload Video. And I'll just select those files. I'll say Select Files. And I will go to um, my Documents folder. And here's my Zoom folder inside my Documents folder. Here's that recording. It's the Zoom 1 MP4 file. Um, the Zoom 0 MP4 is probably another recording I made earlier, um, but this is the one that I wanted. So I'll hit open, and it will upload it to YouTube. Now I can rename it, so I can give it a title. And it's processing the video. So what I can do is, if you notice here, I've got this video link. And I've got this copy video link link right here. And I can click on that, and it copies the video link. Uh, I'll scroll down a little bit, and I'll say, no, it's not made for kids. And I'll say, next. And then I'll say, video elements. I don't need any of that. I'll say, next. And now, save or publish. I want to make it either unlisted or public. Uh, unlisted is fine. Um, as long as it is unlisted, you'll be able to share that link in your Google site. So I'll go ahead and choose public for this one. Well, I'll choose unlisted for this one, just to make sure it works. And it's going to process the video, and it'll show up eventually. And I'll say save. And that's it. I can. It'll show me the video link again in case I forgot to grab it. I can click on that copy video link right here. And then I'll go to my Google site, and I'll paste it right in there. So I'll go to a new Google site. And here's a site that I just made called Audio Samples. It's just as easy to paste it in here. I'll open up the site. And I've got this YouTube link right here. It says YouTube at the bottom right. And I'll click on that. And I can paste that URL that I copied from before right into this search window. I hit the little search button. And there's that interview. And I click on it to select it. You got to click on it to select it. If it's not clicked on, uh, it won't be selected, and this select won't be lit up. And then I'll say, OK, select. And there it goes. It embeds it right into my page, all ready for viewing. So it's as simple as that.